We have just arrived in Alaska, but the salmons are not here yet. It is the end of June, and every year at this time the scene is repeated. The salmon return to the river where they were born in order to spawn. They group together in the ocean on their way to the rivers of Alaska. It is absolutely incredible how they find their way. It is believed that they smell the waters of their rivers and then head towards them. But it's not just us who are waiting for them. The fauna of Alaska anxiously awaits their arrival. There are so many of them that they make it very easy for predators. The passage from salt water to fresh water produces morphological changes in them. Their gonads expand so much that they are unable to eat. The grizzly bear impatiently awaits their arrival. A diet based on salmon has turned these bears into the largest in the world. majority die in the attempt, the most skillful escape. After a few days stuffing themselves with salmon, the scene is rather desolate, though not for the seagulls. The satiated bears continue hunting, but only for fun. Some salmon are caught and thrown away. With a bit of luck, they will manage to get back into the water. Those that have managed to get through continue upriver, become increasingly weak as they do. The most insurmountable obstacles are yet to come. They are not, in fact, insurmountable. If their parents could do it, then so can they, or they will die in the attempt. This is Darwin's theory in action. Only the strongest survive, and it is they that will breed. Exhausted, they expel their sperm onto the eggs that the females have left in the nest. The truth is, they don't look too good. They have been invaded by funguses. They are half dead. No, they're dead. The cycle begins anew. <laughs> 